What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to beat Brock for our very first gym badge, and yeah, he did have a nice team in uh, Rock and Rolla and Arkin. Two strong Pokemon, but we managed to beat him with Mr. Hydro, and now it is time for us to move on right here because, uh, yeah, we already know the deal right here now. We just don't know what Pokemon we have. And, well, here we are in the next route. Do you not even know, but I am, uh... Right here, I'm, I'm about to start using some different Pokemon so I can actually evolve and all that stuff, like Zippy and uh, Toxicity, because, well, I kind of want to evolve him and all that stuff. So, here we go, going up against this girl right here. She's, of course, saying that we're looking at her and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and battle. Look at that. Alas wants to fight, and, well, she's coming out with her beat of And we are kind of screwed just a little bit because, well... Toxicity is a poison type Pokemon, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to a good old buddy Oinkinator right here. And, well, here comes the Gust Attack. Not bad, not bad. So here we go, Ember Attack for the win. And that p -Dub is still alive right here now. There are more there, there are more Pokemon out there that I can actually capture. I just want to know, well, I kind of, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what Pokemon I kind of want to use, especially since I've, like, I've, I rarely use Unovan Pokemon and all that stuff. I kind of want to say that the Unovan team that I had for Pokemon Black, that was a pretty good one. Very, very good one. And, well, I kind of I kind of don't remember their names or anything like that, but eventually we'll get back to them at some point with Pokemon uh, Black and White 2. Who knows when that will happen. And, well, there we go. We defeated this last right here. Look at that. Okay, defeated the last. Okay, so yes, I am mean. Let us move on right here, and, well, let's go ahead and get Zippy in this. Uh, I think he does have 15 experience points to get to the next level, so let's go ahead and see what this kid has. And, yes, he, well, we have met him in the Viridium Forest, so more likely he's going to have his Worm Pokemon right here, maybe Evolved or anything like that. And here he comes out with a Sawaddle, level 10. All right, Zippy. The only move it has right now is Quick Attack, so, yeah, that's not going to be a lot of HP taken. But here comes the Waddle's Absorb Attack, and that right there messes my Pokemon up. So let's go ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon right here. Oinkinator, we're going to evolve you in this episode because, well, it seems to be the new tradition and all that stuff. But here comes the Waddle's uh, Absorb Attack. And, well, let's go ahead and use that Ember Attack. Look at that. Oh, yes. And so Waddle defeated... Feeling good, feeling great, and Zippy grows to level 5 right there. Oinkinator getting some points right there, and here comes a Venipede. So we're going to stay put right here with Oinkinator and go with the Ember attack. Alrighty, 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 look at that. Okay, so Oinkinator gains uh, another level right there at level 15. And here comes a Sawaddle, so let's see. Let's go ahead and do a switch train right here. Now... So Waddle is a bug and grass type, so I'm assuming that the poison uh, poison sting is actually going to work right here. And it is. It's actually super effective. Here comes a string shot. Not so good at all. And so here we go again, another poison sting. Hopefully we poison this Pokemon, and we do. Yes! Okay, so we're now working with some magic right here. And, well, tackle attack does its thing, and, well, you're getting poisoned. Definitely a new twist to this whole thing right here. So let's go ahead. Not get hit by that. Look at that. Poison affecting you. Poison sting attack gets you. Come on. And, you know, one thing is for sure. I actually thought that Spring Shot was actually like a one hit or a one use move. Like, I think in Pokemon uh, in first generation and all that stuff. And, well, there goes the poison. And here comes the poison sting attack. Toxicity gets it and grows to level 9. And look at that. Okay, alrighty. So we do, we, we've done some uh, some moves right there. Unfortunately, yeah, some of our Pokemon have got really beaten up, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and move on right here. And here we have the Shorts Boy right here. Now, I did mention that from time to time I will be using the Speed Button because, well, more than half these Pokemon trainers, I know their moves and all that stuff. Now, here we have a Patrat. Mean looking old Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon to Oinkinator, because one of the goals is to evolve our starter right here and now, and well, here comes that tackle attack. Does it do anything? Let's go, Ember attack. 
Come on. Oh god. Half the half the half the points right there. And well, let's go again with another Ember attack for the win. And damn it! Patrat is still living. And well, let's go with another Ember attack. And we do it. Look at that. Zippy growing to level six. Hopefully it learns a new move. No, it doesn't. And well. Here comes a purloin. Now, did I mention that I actually seen a purloin like uh, on our way here? Like I did, and I I can only assume that purloins uh replace it's replacing what was his name um uh, Ekans yeah Ekans. So here comes Mr. Hydro, aka Psyduck, and well there's that grill attack. So let's go ahead and use a water gun attack now. I'm trying to figure out if purloin the dark type Pokemon wouldn't be affected with any lick attack. I'm pretty sure it would. Or it would be considered a normal type or whatnot. Alright, here we go. Water gun attack. And that takes care of Furloined. Look at that. And Zippy grows to level 7. Still not growing any, like, learning any new moves. Which is annoying and all that crud, so. There we go. Alright, so. Stay put, guys. I am going to heal up my Pokemon yet again. Okay guys, so I'm back and well, I thought it through and you know what? I think it's a good idea to actually bring back Waddles onto the team because it is both a bug and grass type Pokemon. Now I get that I do have two bug types right here, but it will prove useful for the rock types that I may encounter going into, uh, what was it? Yeah, going into the, the Mount Moon stuff. So let's go ahead and take on some more Pokemon trainers right here and here comes a Venipede and uh, well... Well, there's a Venipede, there's Poison, and well, let's go ahead and uh, go with the Oinkinator right here. Still trying to evolve this Pokemon right now, and here comes that Poison Sting, and just like that, we are poisoned. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go, Ember Attack, getting it, and uh, there goes Venipede, thank you, thank you, and well, Oinkinator, still not growing any levels, so we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. We're going to be doing a little bit of Switch training right here. And, well, Toxicity does have an advantage against the Waddle right here. It is both at the same level, so let's go right ahead and just use the Poison Sting attack. Make it pay. And this is going to take uh, a, a quite a while to beat this Pokemon, or it's a critical hit. And look at that. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Come on, Toxicity. And it's poisoned. Yes. And, well, there's that tackle attack, and it is hurt by the poison, so there we have it, some kind of advantage right here. And, well, Swaddle is still alive, but using its absorb attack, not going to take a lot of HP right there. And there goes the poison, nearly defeating this Pokemon, so here goes Poison Sting for the win. And look at that, we're getting more points, so here comes another Venipede. Well, let's go back to Waddles right here to get some experience points and then do a switch train. Granted that, yeah, we might kind of regret it with whole, uh, with the Oinkinator right here. So let's go right ahead and go back to Oinkinator level 15. And, oh damn, okay. And yes, we are hurt by the poison. Come on. Oh crud, okay. So there it is, a Screech attack. Let's go. Ember attack for the win. Does the trick. Alrighty, alrighty, look at that. Waddles grows to level 7. And Oinkinator still not growing a level, so here comes another some Waddle right here. So let's go back to Toxicity. Let's get a little more uh, points right here. Now, one thing that I kind of noticed, or you know, that uh, that I liked about the Unova region is that whenever you went into a new territory, uh, you know, the desert or the forest, a lot of these Pokemon that come in, kind of like some Waddle and Venipede. They, they usually have a second typing to it that, that works for everybody's liking. Believe it or not, I actually wanted to use a Sawato at one point on my team. Did not work, as you guys probably could tell in Pokemon Black. But it, 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 you know, it usually it evolves into a great Pokemon. Strong Pokemon. It doesn't look like much, but it is a very strong Pokemon at the very end. And, well, that goes for any Pokemon in the desert, too. Kind of like Fire-type Pokemon that you find there. Sand Dial, uh, you got, I can, I can name all the Pokemon right there, but it, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what I'm going to encounter right here, but there's so many, there's so many Pokemon that you can actually choose from right here that, you know, I don't know, like, to be quite honest, I don't know what my selections will be, hell, I might even use some Pokemon that I've used in Pokemon Black, so here we go with this guy, and well, 
Yep, he's gonna come out with his very own Lillipup. Now this guy right here is at level 15. Scary. Scary AF, and well, that is not going to work, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Oinkinator right here. The only guy that can actually defeat him. And here comes a Bite Attack from Lillipup, and wow, takes a nice amount. So here comes Ember Attack for the win. Nearly does it, but it's a critical hit. And well, let's go right ahead, do another Ember Attack. And nearly beats Lillipup, and this guy right here will not go down without a fight. So let's go Tackle Attack for the win. Say goodbye. Zippy grows to level 8. And Oinkinator does, it still doesn't grow a level. God dang it. You would think he would evolve right here. Never mind. Okay. Let's move on right here, guys. Let's find different Pokemon. Different Pokemon trainers and all that. And, well, let's see. Crud! She spotted me. That look you gave me. It's so intriguing. Well, I mean, there's one thing that... There's one thing that, you know, the guys that created this game could have done. You know, changed the whole dialogue and all that crud. Yeah, but it is what it is. So, here we have Pat Rat, And, well, it looks like to me that I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon yet again. Let's go, Mr. Hydro. See what we can do right here against this uh, Pat Rat. And, well, as you can see, it's using Bide. So, let's, let's go ahead and just lower its uh, defense for just a little bit. That way, this guy doesn't hit us with double attack. And it doesn't work. Let's go, Water Gun. Finish off this crazy eye looking kid, and well, here comes the bite attack now. Let's go again, water gun. And it doesn't do really much, and here comes a bite attack now. Screw it, I'm gonna attack it. Doesn't have much HP left, and there we go, Pat Rat has been defeated. Zippy grows to level 9, great. Still doesn't learn another move. And here comes a Lillipup, so let's go straight to Oinkinator. We're trying to evolve this Pokemon right now. We really are, so here comes Oinkinator. And, well, let's go Ember Attack right here. And Lillipup survives this attack right here, so let's... Uh, okay, we, it's, gonna, it's just going to keep on using Bite. And there we go. Say goodbye. And, wow, Oinkinator. Still not growing levels. Holy crud. I'm st okay, let's see how much it has left. Because I swear it could have al already grown one. Alright. And, well, okay, 77 more points. Let's go ahead and uh, take care of business right here. And, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and go back to Waddles right here. So we can actually... It can, it can actually learn Absorb or something like that. So it can fend for itself. And, well, here we have... Uh, you can fight my new Pokemon. Okay, Mr. You Can Fight My New Pokemon. Let's see what you got. Bug Catcher coming out with his Carablast right here. This is new. Carablast. Of course, if you trade him, it evolves into... Uh, let's see, what was it? I think it evolves into like a Steel-type Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, like, I, it's been a while since I, like, since I played Pokemon uh, Black and White, guys. And, well, of course, I get Poison right here, so I might as well hit this guy one more. One more time, and god dang it! So here comes the poison. And, well, Carablast is just messing with me right now. There we go. For the win, Waddles grows to level 8 and is learning Absorb. So now it can actually fend for itself when it comes to these uh, ground type Pokemon. And here comes Shelmet. So I'm going to take on this Pokemon straight up, get hurt by poison one more time. And look at his Shelmet. This is the Pokemon that grows into a Steel-type Pokemon, right? Yes, it does. And, well, there we go. Getting hit again by Poison. Oinkinator is suffering just a little bit. But the reward is pretty great right here because it will grow a level. Look at that. Oinkinator wins. And it grows a level 16, finally. Damn, after, like, how many tries? And, well, the hell? Oh, ball sack. Don't tell me Oinkinator grows... Oh, crud, yeah. <laughs> this is how you know you forgot how to actually... Or you forgot the, the actual leveling up and all that stuff of Pokemon Black and White. It's been a while, guys. I'm sorry. Uh jeebus. Okay, so let's move on right here. There is a trainer waiting for us. Let's go ahead and battle her and then see what Pokemon we can actually find right here. So, screw it. Let's go Oinkinator. 
And, well, let's give it a potion here and there. There we go. Potion one. Give it another potion. There you go. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what we got. No, I did not touch you. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what we got going up against. Uh, Lass wants the fight, and she's coming out with an Audino. As many of you guys already know, Audino HP. Uh, it does have HP like nobody else. Plus, if you beat it in the wild, of course, you can get more experience points than any other Pokemon right there. And well, yeah, this Pokemon is uh, is a tough one right here. Sure, it would have been great if Wagonator would have evolved right now, but no. And that right there was a critical hit, so let's go ahead and keep on hitting it with some Ember Attacks. And, well, I'm only assuming that Audino has replaced Chansey, because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a Chansey. And, well, let's go. Ember Attack. Nearly beats this Audino. Good gravy. Battle of the Biggies. There we go. Blankinator wins, gets a buttload of experience points right there, grows to level 17 easily. Yes, sir, alrighty, and Oinkinator is finally evolving, holy crud, okay, so after struggling just a little bit, it's finally here, and I'm only assuming that, yes, Oinkinator finally grows to level, or gets, a, gets to be Pig Knight, and gains the fighting capability. I could be wrong, hold on, let's go ahead and take a look. Yes, sir, it is a fighting type Pokemon now. Now, the only great, like, it would be great to actually learn a fighting type move, but eventually we'll find out. Well, like, we'll, we'll get there soon. All right, so I'm going to take a look at the Pokemon right here, and I'll be right back, guys. If there's a Pokemon that I need to get, then, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll show you. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I took a look around this grassy area, and the only, uh, diff well, the only important Pokemon that you can actually find here is Audino. Now... Like I said before, Audino in Pokemon Black and White is an experience points magnet. So if you guys want to train and level up your Pokemon quickly, this is the place to be. I actually did that because, uh, well, take a look. Zippy finally grew to level 11, and it's learned, it's finally learned its Thundershock attack after how many, how many uh, tries. And then Waddles right here grew a few levels. Actually, that's only Canada right there. Uh, Waddles right here grew to level 10 as well, and I think the uh, the amount of experience points you get from uh, from uh, an Audino right here is 165. I could be wrong, but it is a lot of experience points, especially right now if you guys want to train your Pokemon. And well, let's see, Route 3 to Mount Moon ahead. Look at that! Look at that! Okay, so we're finally here in the entrance area of Mount Moon. Now there's one little thing that we want to take a look at. Okay, so now we all know about the the gentleman that sells the magic carp. I want to know what this guy sells, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Yes, we got a deal for you. I'll give you a Tynamo for just 500 Poke Dollars. Yes, I want a Tynamo. Yes, I'm going to get Tynamo. Mainly because, well, oh my god. It becomes into an awesome Pokemon. A very, very, I don't know how to explain it. it yeah, it can't be affected by ground type moves. Now, Hopefully, just hopefully, in this game, it won't be, it will be the same thing. So, here we have Tynamo the Pokemon, and I kind of want to nickname it something. Let's see. Tynamo. Tynamo, Tynamo, Tynamo. Let's see. Tynamo. We can nickname it Dynamo. Dynamax. Dynamo, Tynamax. I don't know. Let's see. Eel Strike or Strike a Eel. Spaghetti. You know what? That's it. We're going to name it Spaghetti. Uh, no, actually, you know what, that's a stupid name, because eventually, like, I might want to use this Pokemon, uh, in Pokemon Black and White 2, or in some other walkthrough. Let's go with something great. Let's see. Can't be spaghetti. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, lightning. That's too, that's too generic right there. God, thinking of nicknames, like, right on the fly is just a, you know, what? Let's see. Eel. Eel at trick. Nah, you know what? <sighs> Tynamo, Tyne, or, eh, shoot. Lexi, Lexi. Lexi, what's a good nickname for Tynamo? Hmm. 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 Okay, so, holy crud, it took me a while to actually figure this out, but I think 
I figured out what kind of a nickname I would give Tynamo, because eventually it becomes a pretty strong Pokemon. Now, the namesake wouldn't match it, but it's, uh, it, you know, it matches it, well, the namesake doesn't match the stats and all that stuff, but I still want to name it this because it's kind of cool. So, yes, I bequeath to you the name Flash. Yeah, that's right. Welcome, Flash. And let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. Level 5. As you can see, its defense is not that great. Speed is alright. Tynamo looks like a baby, you know, a baby whatchamacallit. Now, it does have better better stats than, you know, the Magikarp that you would go and get and all that stuff. So, what's going to happen right here is that I will eventually get rid of some of the Pokemon right here. Uh, Switch Train, Flash, and Zippy and all that stuff. And, well, you know, eventually I'll probably keep Flash because it does have a better it does have better effects against uh, Ground-type Pokemon. Now, if I'm... Hopefully I'm not mistaken, but in this one right here, this game... If it is invulnerable to Ground-type Pokemon, that would be great. But if, uh, you know, it gets hit, destroyed by Ground-type Pokemon, it is what it is. You know, I, I, I let myself believe that it is a strong Pokemon. So, let's pause it right here, guys. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going through Mount Moon. See you guys.